Hey everybody, this is Perch, and uh, it's we've got the DC solicitations coming here shortly for August, but DC's basically setting up their Batman level event for the fall, um, and it's called Fear State, and uh, it's the Scarecrow, and the Scarecrow's up to Scarecrow things in Gotham. Uh, but this, this event is a promising to launch several new series. Hang on, did I, wait, did I read that right? Launching point for several new series. Oh, Jesus. Okay, and plot lines across the Batman family. Man, if you're a Batman fan, what a time to be alive, right? I, I think uh, <laughs> the DC does stand for Detective Comics. Uh, okay, uh, so anyway, um, Fear State is coming and will begin in, uh, in August, as we're about to talk about with the Fear State Alpha. Um, because it, it, when you're trying to do a crossover, you really need alpha, omega, you need a beta issue, you need a, I don't know, whatever. You, you just need to have all these other things because collectors on a regular basis are going, I, I, I do, I, it's so boring just collecting things in sequential order. Can you introduce letters and names and other things into the mix? That would help me out a lot. So you asked, they delivered. Here we go. Uh, you know, if we get fear state alpha, but anyway. This is uh, promising a launching point for several new series uh, and plot lines along the Batman family title, setting up a new status quo for 2022. I don't want to be too sarcastic here, but we we just we got a new status quo in uh, 2021. Um, Bruce gave up all his money. We had Future State, and technically, if this is a status quo leading to Future State, it's not setting up a new status quo. It's setting up the status quo we saw at the beginning of 2021. Uh, but anyway, the action begins in August with the following titles. We've got uh, this initial level of solicitations. We have I Am Batman. Um, this is an issue zero because, again, of course it is. Uh, 499 John Ridley, who's now doing Batman and Black Panther. He has become the most powerful writer in uh, in comics. Anyway, uh, this is basically picking up immediately from the events of the next Batman, Second Son. Uh, and Jace Fox begins the march toward his destiny when he fights to protect Alleytown from the oppressive forces of the Magistrate. Using Batman armor and tech he found in Bruce Wayne's old base of operations, the hibernacul hibernaculum. The hibernaculum. He's, he's just hanging out in the hibernaculum, and he finds some Batman stuff. And so he puts it on like anyone would. And then uh, reigns terror. I mean, fights crime. In Gotham. So so we got Jace Fox doing that. By the way, so I think uh, I, I read these issues. I read the uh, Second Son series. I think Jace Fox is an interesting character. I think there's some depth to to the guy. I think that there's um, there's an interesting dynamic with Lucius and everything else. I think it's an interesting character they have going here. The only thing that I think could mess up this character, and when I say mess up, I mean um, take money away. Uh, it, it means you, basically Jace Fox is the character you put some investment into and 10 years from now, uh, Jace Fox could have an ongoing solo series. Not, not, you know, you could start that solo series now, but I mean, 10 years from now, he would still have an ongoing solo series and be kind of an interesting core part of the DC universe. The only thing that would mess that up is if you shoehorn him into a role where the, the you know the fan base is never fully going to accept it, and most of them will be sitting around waiting for you know the uh, Bruce Wayne to come back to the costume. We, we've seen this before with Azrael. We've seen it before with uh, with Dick Grayson uh, when he briefly became Batman. Half the people were waiting around, going, "Well, this is interesting," but at some point we're going to get back to Bruce Wayne. So uh, wake me up when that happens. That's the problem here. Um, I think that. It's, it says nothing to do with race or gender or any of that other kind of stuff. The problem is when you have an original character that is so well known, and there aren't that many of them, but Peter Parker, definitely. Steve Rogers is another one over on Marvel's side. Bruce Wayne, for sure, on DC. Clark Kent. When you have characters that are so well known, I mean, so established with this character, decades of being established with a character, you can't go in and like edit somebody new now and, and people will accept it. People will just kind of hang out and wait for this phase to be over and then go back to the story they know. It's it's why you don't have, uh, you know, they just like, hey, Sherlock Holmes is somebody new now. It, it, it doesn't it doesn't work. They've, they've done it with James Bond because, they it, you know, they always kind of just nod and, you know, hey, it's some other kind of British -y white guy. Um, that's that's the challenge here. I think that Jace Fox 
it's going to be that guy who is Batman for a while. And that's that's not fair to the character to where he's going. I, I think, you know, what would be much cooler, frankly, is he finds all his Batman armor. He, uh, you know, takes a screwdriver, pries off the bat symbol, you know, puts on like a big J for Jace, like he could be Super J. Or I, I'm, I'm just kidding. Something intelligent. And then run around and I think it'd be fine. But anyway, sorry for the, the thing. I, I just, I think the, this stuff winds up setting the character up for failure because nobody fully buys it. And then you can you can complain, you can say, well, the fans that aren't fully buying it are, are evil, bigoted fans, but that's not really true. It's it's just that this character has been established for so long. This is why you put a new character in place. But uh, I, I don't know. I tell you what, you you find me in 10 years, and if uh, everybody is, uh, it, it, it's just Jace Fox is the Batman, and everybody is super happy with it, and the entire world is all on board with that, I will, uh, I will say I'm wrong. How's that? Fair is fair. Um, other titles, Catwoman. Uh, Catwoman is, uh, you know, and again, they, they did this uh, kind of goofy storyline where they were going to spend a year apart, Batman and, and Catwoman. Um, they're going to give a, they're going to have a one year break to kind of figure out how they could be married or I, I mean, I, it was, it was goofy anyway. Uh, they're, they're, um, Batman showing up. So, so they, he's, he's going to be there. There you go. Uh, you know, Harley Quinn is, uh, is trying to kick up, get the magistrate out of alley town for good. So the, the magistrate is here, uh, once again, kind of contradicting this bold new status quo for 2022. It's like, it's, it's not the new status quo. Anyway, the, the key title is James Tinian's Batman Fear State Alpha. And this is an event over a year in the making. Over a year? All right. Anyway, uh, overwhelmed by the dual threat of the Scarecrow and the Peacekeeper 1, Batman and his allies have been one step behind the events of Infinite Frontier Zero and with the arrival of mysterious Anti-Oracle. I'm picturing Anti-Oracle as just like some super troll on the internet. Like they're still all plugged into the computers, but is like just spamming people. Like the the, the Anti-Oracle is like just, just attacks with memes continuously and uh, sets up multiple accounts. Uh, it's Dan Slott. No, anyway. Uh, and the return of Poison Ivy. Batman may have more than he can handle. All right, sure. Um, and then, uh, of course, issue 112 through 117 is, uh, is, is beginning in September. So there's, they're basically skipping, sounds like they're skipping Batman. Instead, they're giving us Batman Fear State Alpha in the month of August. So they're canceling Batman. No, no, it's just, it's taking a month off. They're giving us this, this alpha issue for, um, 40 pages, $4.99, or you can get a, a fancy cover for $5.99. And then uh, in September, you get issue 112 through 117. Not all in September, but beginning in September. And uh, that's uh, six issues, uh, which basically will be the Scarecrow and shenanigans and Gotham City's in some trouble and Poison Ivy's doing stuff and Peacekeeper 1 is there and Miracle Molly and all these all this other IP that's been created, and that's that's what we've got. So Batman begins their fallish, wintry event, Fear State, which brings us to the world of the Magistrate. What I'm interested in is the status quo after the Magistrate. Like, how fast can we get to uh, Future State, that world, and get past this? Uh, because uh, I, I also love the. Um, so the Scarecrow is doing all this, but we know from the future that the Gotham, the GCPD hires the Scarecrow to do profiling, which is, which is really a terrible idea. Like, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's a bad plan. It's like, uh, I, there's been storylines like this before, but like, you know, a bank hires Catwoman. It's like, uh, we're going to hire Catwoman because who better to protect all this money and jewels than a thief? It's like, no, 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 that's, that's, that's a stupid idea. Don't, you don't, you don't do that. It's, you don't do that. It'd be like, uh, you know, you got this preschool and you hire, no, I'm not going to actually go down that path. Anyway, are you into this? Are you excited about uh, a Batman event for your state? We had Joker War. So this is kind of the the first event after Joker War. Joker War was one year ago. Batman is going to be doing the uh, the kind of the yearly event thing like Spider-Man. Well, Spider-Man does it like two or three times a year, but like, X, well, X-Men does it a couple of times a year too. So uh, anyway, Batman's going to have their yearly event, Fear State in August, uh, run through September, October, November, uh, probably wrap up in December. And then that sets us up for the bold new status quo of 2022, which will launch several new series. That's a, I can't get over that. It just sounds like such a threat. Like, uh, you know, DC's like, Hey, Hey, you know what? You, you're going to get several new series, several new series. You said we've, you've had enough of Batman. You're getting several 
new series. <laughs> I mean, why not? Anyway, are you buying any of that? Uh, let me know in the comments below, and thanks for listening.